I'm having my coffee again, and I know that you guys, I love you guys' comments uh, from the other day's video of uh, how uh, exhausting it was to make coffee, and, and I do that, and I make that coffee like that every single day, um, and I will never give up my coffee. I love my coffee. I've roasted coffee. I've gotten green beans, roasted them. I've roasted them a couple different ways. I grind them, and then uh, I just love a good cup of coffee. I wouldn't give. I wouldn't drink instant. I don't even think I'd drink instant out on a long adventure on a canoe trip or whatever. I bought. I bought a hand grinder so I can still take beans in a Ziploc bag and grind them and still have great coffee out on a river or something like that. I, I just. I'm sorry, guys. I have to have a good cup of coffee. And uh, anyway, anyway, um, today's plan of attack is uh, um, I've stayed here a few different times. It's at a uh, Target, and uh, it's a pretty good spot. But today's plan of attack is to uh, we're in search of a new saw, a new skill saw with a uh, um, the what do they call it? I guess it's a um, a gliding system or whatever where you can cut straight lines and stuff like that because I'm going to have to upgrade on my tools a little bit. Um, here, let me put this, uh, flip this camera around and I'll, uh, that way I can talk with you. All right, anyway. Um, yeah, anyway, I've got uh, my uh, old skill saw and I'll show you. It's just a piece of junk. Um, I've caught the cord in it a couple times. And, uh, I, I, uh, and it's, the bed is a flimsy bed. It's not that nice, uh, cast bed or whatever. So it, it, it's kind of flimsy. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I love DeWalt stuff and I like the idea of the cordless and stuff, but I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of cordless because of the batteries. They seem to change every year. The bed, you go to buy another battery. It's just as much as the darn tool itself. I do have a few cordless things, mostly the drills. Um, but uh, my my uh, jigsaw, my uh, sander, and all the other ones are DeWalt's now, but they're co with a cord because I can run them on the generator. And I, I can actually run some of them on my inverter. And down the road, I'll be able to run them all on the inverter. But um, I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan. I ended up getting a DeWalt cordless uh, skill saw. I think it was a piece of junk. Um, it was just piece of junk. I had so many problems with it. I finally got so mad at it, I threw it in the garbage can. So anyway, I'm on the hunt. Uh, I'd like to get the Bosch. Oh, and that's what they call it, the, and, the, and the rail system. The Bosch, nice skill saw, uh, seven and a quarter inch in, in, the, uh, in the rail system together so I can cut plywood and cut various things and, and, and have a nice straight cut because, you know, we're getting more and more. We're gonna start rolling with this thing and keep, you know, putting it together and stuff. I'm going to do some uh, a little bit of things today on it or whatever, and then I'll probably get out of here and go down just a little bit further down to uh, um, back down by Tootsie's because I like that. and um, Might even do that this afternoon for this evening because it's Saturday. You probably have some good country music in there, and I like that. So uh, anyway, let's get going. We'll go over to Home Depot or Lowe's and see what we can't find, see what we can come up with uh, on a decent uh, deal for one. But I'm going to finish coffee first. Well, again, today, it's just uh, so cold, but, you know, we've got the good old buddy heater, and and uh, we've got, uh, you know, a way to, it doesn't take long, I, I've got it on low now, I can put it up to uh, medium, um, if I put it on high, it jumps this place up to 70 degrees, like, really quick, but uh, anyway, yeah, it's just so cold, but anyway... I am going to take a quick nap and then uh, see about looking into a saw. Well, another score. So anyway, I checked a dumpster that was in the parking lot there in Destin and it was by an office supply place. I was basically just gonna throw a little bag of a uh, little, little bag like this of garbage in there and bingo, nice little chair. So fits in there perfect, it's nice and comfortable score man out of the dumpster for free you know and i'm sure it was you know, i mean i don't know that i don't find anything wrong with it so it doesn't even have any tears so that'll be a great little comfortable chair and didn't cost a nickel so once again scavenging man you you can find us so much stuff in uh in them different dumpsters and stuff it's just crazy
Okay, so once I removed this window and flipped it upside down, I just put everything back together again and we're fine. And it has a seal in there. So when you push it in, um, sometime when it's this, you know, later in the thing, I'll take them back out maybe later and, and re bed them with some uh, butyl tape or something like that. But they're fine for now. I've flipped of. Through, I flipped three of them now, and I've never had any leaks. So, uh, but it's so much better to have the the window up here, and uh, and then I can build the wall up there. So that's the plan. Now the plan was today to run and check on. Uh, I did some research on another saw or getting a saw, but the traffic is just so brutal out there that you really don't feel like running to. Uh, I'm going to try and go in the morning down to uh, Lowe's. So. I don't think I'm gonna make it today just because it's just traffic is just it's just so backed up and it's so busy everywhere. Just try and stay out of all these uh all these darn places. It's ridiculous. But I did uh I did kind of take this apart just to see what was in here. And I think I'm gonna remove all this and then pull this out for now, and then we'll figure those out later. But um I'll end up putting a two by two in here. And, up, you know, like I said, we're gonna look at about 32 inches, which will be right about there. And then we'll run two by two and all that, and then uh, insulate and then um, cedar on that. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna epoxy those two by twos in. I think that's what I'm gonna do because there's not a lot to screw to this in, in ways that I've been looking at and checking. And I think what I'll do is I'll pick up some, uh, more uh, um, epoxy the west system and i've got the mixer to make uh, the thickened epoxy and then i'll just glue those in there with that thickened epoxy and that'll be really nice and they'll be secure and uh yeah should work out really good but i'll continue working i think i'll do this wall here in the next week just about five foot of it just to see what it looks like yeah just to see what this <clears throat> will look like uh you know we'll do the five feet there and just check it out see what uh see how that looks but i think it'll look really nice and uh whatnot all right guys uh appreciate you watching appreciate you uh subscribing and commenting and sharing and that <clears throat> we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video peace out mm -hmm.